the 33 centimeter 24 volt lawnmower from Greenworks. Power, performance, and practicality. But there's one more thing we need to throw at this. It's the Tommy's toughness test. Now we've seen our first option, but what if our lawns are a little bit bigger? We just want a little bit more power for manicuring our lawns and mowing. Now, if you need extra range, if you need extra features, if you want the option to be able to mow slightly longer grass and take that longer grass down to a shorter cut, then this could well be the perfect mower for you. Step away from the fossil fuels, get rid of that cord and cable, replace it all with a 40 volt lithium battery. Now that is your powerhouse, enabling you to mow on a single charge up to 250 square meters. Now this comes with the fast charger, so it's a one hour charge from flat to full. Now if you're in a rush to mow your lawn, then you only need to wait 30 minutes in order to get up to 80% capacity. So what's different about this versus the 33 centimeters? Firstly, it's a broader cutting width. This is 35 centimeters, so a good generous cutting pass on the grass. Single lever height adjustment on this one, so you don't have to adjust the axle. You can drop down, and this is a top tip if you are going to make your first pass of the grass, or perhaps your mower has given up the ghost and you're looking to embrace cordless cutting convenience, once you get this home, if that grass has been grown or if it's been left to grow whilst you're on holiday, don't go rushing out on the lowest setting. You wouldn't go into the barbers and ask to have all your hair cut off in one go. Well, maybe Paul would. <laughs> There's a couple of reasons why we don't go and do that. One, because we are we don't all want to look like Paul. And two, the barber would really, really struggle. So you want to start on the highest cutting height and work down through the increments. Now on this mower, you can start off at 80 millimeters. So that's eight cent, that's not four. You can start off at 80 millimeters and work all the way down through increments down to a crisp, tight, 25 millimeter cutting height. You'll see that we've got some really tough, rugged, articulated wheels as well. Great, so if your lawn is a slight camber on it, or perhaps you've got some undulations or topography to take into consideration, the fact that you've got that additional traction on those four tough, robust wheels. Then you've got your splash proof cover to house that whopping 40 volt battery. And this is something I definitely wouldn't want my kids taking off for a test drive without me. I can immobilize using my safety key and that's all housed underneath that splash proof cover. Now the 40 volt range is ever growing, covers everything from your mowing to your hedges, to your edges, to your chainsaws, your pole chainsaws. There is an entire range of 40 volt tools. So you aren't then stuck with one tool and one battery. You can build your range of tools around the 40 volt battery for that power and performance without cords or without cables. We've got our carry handle at the top here. I'm not gonna throw this around really because this has a good reassuring weight to it. And on the underside of our mower, again, we've got that 35 centimeter steel cutting blade with those scooped wings. The other thing with that slight detail at the end of the cutting blade, it creates extra surface area for additional cutting, thorough cutting, clean cutting. And again, we've got that hybrid 40 litre grass box at the back, so that's gonna contain all of those finer cuttings. And if you don't want to contain them, this also comes with a mulching plug as well. What that mulching plug allows you to do is remove the grass bag, insert your mulching plug. Every time I go to do this, I do it wrong. First take. So you insert your mulching plug into the back, clicks in, you get a nice resounding click, close the flap, those cuttings are gonna get sliced and diced into tiny little particles, and then they're going to deposit onto the lawn surface. Now, why would I want to do that? I've just mowed my grass, surely I don't wanna leave the grass sitting on top of my lawn. Well, actually you do in some cases, especially if you've got larger paddocks or larger areas of lawn, because that's a really easy way, not only to mow your lawn, but also to feed it, because those deposits of grass cuttings are going to sit initially on the surface, but they'll break down so, so quickly, especially if you have a mixture of sunshine and showers, it'll break those particles down, and that becomes instant, nutrient-rich material for that root system of your lawn to latch onto, and that's gonna stimulate new, fresher, vibrant growth. 
So be warned, if you do mulch, you can have to prepare yourself for additional mowing. It's a really good way to be able to invigorate tired looking lawns and make use of those grass cuttings. Something that we, we didn't mention on our previous mower, just release these quick nuts here. Pull that out, that handle will drop down, making it much more compact for storage. If you want to go one further, you have your quick release clamps either side of the handle. I don't know if you noticed, but I'd already released one earlier, or perhaps maybe just forgotten to tighten it up at the start of the video. Let you decide that one. Move the handle up, over and down. So that 35 centimeter mower takes up less space. What does that take up less space then? And something bigger than this. The profile that 35 centimeter lawnmower takes up is next to no space. So great if storage space in your household, your shed, your garage, your garden is at a premium. Now, to get it back into the erect position, couldn't be quicker. Again, you need to clamp in those quick release clamps. It's a little bit liberal on the loosening. So Paul's gonna edit this bit out, aren't you Paul? Make sure everything's nice and tight. Now to start, it can be easier, same again. Press the safety button, pull back. Again, a good reassuring sound, but there's no point it sounding the part. It needs to mow your lawn the way you want it to. Now, using that two amp hour battery, you've got the scope to be able to mow on a single charge up to 250 square meters. Or for our European friends, do they work in meters? Ounces, I think. For our American friends, that's 298.88 square yards. And for, uh, I don't know what the European, if you work in inches, that's 375,000, I think it's 375 square thousand inches. 387, 380, 385, You're gonna keep this all in, aren't you? He is, I know he is. 387, three, <laughs> three, 380, three. 3,875,000.775 square inches off the top of my head. <laughs> the size isn't everything, especially when it comes to square inches. It's performance, power, practicality, that freedom of mowing, but, does it pass the toughest test? Ooh. What happens if your neighbors play golf? Tommy lining up his first shot on the ninth as he looks to hit the green. Works. Let's see what he's got. Oh! Mate, there's next to nothing. There's a couple of superficial marks. And well, that's it. We're gonna need a bigger ball. Ready? Mate, seriously, not even a fracture. It's just, oh no, I dropped my mower again. But we're not done. First glance, these two mowers look exactly the same. Now, if you've already purchased 40 volt Greenworks tools, perhaps you're using a 40 volt leaf blower in the autumn, 40 volt hedge trimmer or line trimmer, this is a great way to build your range around the 40 volt platform. Tommy, I've already bought the 24 volt Greenworks hedge trimmer. And my lawn's much bigger than the intimate spaces you were talking about earlier. What about me? Don't worry, we've got the perfect mower for you. Because if you are looking to build your range around the 24 volt platform, you can still take advantage of that 24 volt battery, but upgrade it by using two and creating a 48 volt powered lawnmower. This is part of the 48 volt platform, the twin 24 volt series. Now they're working together to give you that combined 48 volt output, and you're still going to get that performance, that practicality, but most importantly of all, that instant power. Again, loaded with the same kind of features, the same cutting height as the 40 volt, 70 to 80 millimeters to a crisp, 
20 millimeter cut. Lawns with a high percentage of fescue grasses. Now what's a fescue grasses? They're a much thinner, finer blade of grass particularly useful if you want to create a much more ornamental lawn. They will need regular mowing and they do benefit from a shorter cut. So if perhaps you want to get that kind of bold green effect on your lawn, that is where I'd take my lawn down to that tight 20 millimeters. You can still get an optimal performance and optimal cuts if your lawn's slightly undulated or if it's just a balance of different grass seeds, but it's lovely and green and you still want to mow it. I would keep it between around about 30 to 40 millimeters. So that's around about setting three and four. By doing so, it's gonna keep that vibrant, lush, rich look. It's gonna feel softer under your feet and it's gonna stand up to more foot traffic. So by keeping it slightly longer, not only is it going to look better, it's going to be a healthier lawn and particularly useful if you've got pets and young children and you're constantly out there as a family. The longer the grass, the more it's going to withstand, the better it's going to look and the more inclined you are to be mowing it throughout the summer months. And don't forget, you can always shout out any questions on how to get the best out of your lawn in the comment sections down below. Or if you want to find out any more about these tools, you can always ping me a question down in the comment section too. I've got a question, I've got a question. Paul's got a question. Where's, where's the grass box on, on that one? Well, the reason I've only got one grass box is to show you the fact that you get a mulching plug. It's not because I forgot it and left it in the shed and I couldn't be bothered to go and get it, even though the shed's only over there. Same 45 litre grass cutting collection bag here, but a slightly wider pass on the grass with this. This is a 36 centimetre cutting width, just a centimetre wider, but as we all know, every centimetre counts. So we now know we can build our range of gardening tools around not just the 40 volt platform, but the 24 volt platform if you want to. We've seen it perform, we know it's got the power, but does it pass the toughness test? <laughs> Man, I took a big bit of bark out the bottom. Well, what else can we do to it? That's the last time I'm gonna give you a dumb nothing! Hey kids, don't do what I've just done. If you are gonna saw branches off your trees, make sure you keep a lawnmower in your shed. But it's nice to know if you did forget, it's tough enough to withstand a little bit of abuse. Does it still work? Of course it does. When mowing, it's important that you keep a good grip on your mower at all times. Oh no, I slipped again. Single lever height adjustment, does that still work? Absolutely, most importantly of all. Lovely jubbly, which is an old English expression for, great, my mower still works but let's do it again. 60 volt battery performance to give you ultimate range and most importantly of all, power. Those rugged wheels, that tough steel cutting deck, that broad 46 centimeter cutting width, the scope to be able to control the delivery of cordless cutting convenience. We've seen all the functions and features on board here. It's not much of a cliffhanger 